Hi, I'm Vanessa Ray, and today we're at St. John's University in Queens, New York, where we're going to take a typical college dorm room and give it a head-to-toe makeover. Hi. Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm Kate Parker from Real Simple. So I hear we're going to be making over a dorm room yes, today. Yes, we are. Good, let's go get started. Okay, sounds okay. good. So there's not much in here right now. Right. it's kind of a typical dorm room. A typical dorm room, you're gonna probably have a bed, a dresser, and a desk, and then hopefully you'll have a little closet. And you know, it's just this uh, very plain furniture, which is very common, and it's what you're gonna find across most dorm rooms. So what we're gonna do is bring in some great, colorful, fun items that really speak to the person's personal style, and we're gonna jazz it up and give it that extra oomph of style factor. We're making over a female dorm room. So what should we do first? Because there's a lot to do here. So we're gonna get started, I think, building the things we need to assemble. It's just a few things that need some minor assembly that's okay. very easy to do. As long as it's no minor. No heavy tools, <laughs> no heavy lifting. Um, we're gonna put together the desk chair and the floor lamp. There we go. That's great. Yeah, so it was really easy to assemble. It's a fun pop of color. And best of all, it's actually a comfortable chair that we got at a great price. Why is light so important in a dorm room? Well, kind of bringing your own source of light. I think bringing your own maybe one floor lamp um, and one table lamp is always a good idea because dorm rooms can tend to be a little bit darker. And so bringing in that ambient lighting is going to make the room instantly feel warmer. Here we have the closet. Yes. And it's quite a small space. It is, because I was thinking, oh, great closet space, but it's actually half of this. Two people are going to share this closet. So we're going to come up with some good, quick solutions, storing a lot of things in a small space. So the best part about these hangers, Vanessa, is yeah. that they're really slim. They're called flopped hangers, and they're so slim, so you really get to put the most amount of clothes possible. So these drawers are actually so great because they're stackable, and you can buy a bunch of them. I love these for storing all your extra towels when they're not in use. And then we have this awesome hamper. It actually collapses. So I have these great baskets, which are wonderful for just compartmentalizing things, you know, put like things together. Now we have a little trick that I love for closets, which is these little um, stick-up lights, and you, they're just with the push of the light. It actually is what turns it on. We have your bath caddy, because we know you're carting it back and forth mm -hmm. from the bedroom to the bathroom. The great thing about it is it's lined with plastic, so it's easy to clean out if it ever kind of starts to get gooky. Now we just have a few final touches. We've got okay. these great shoe organizers. Such a great little pop-down window, but it's clear, so you can still see your shoes in there. So tension rods are a great way, actually, to do a quick fix on a window treatment that's maybe not so special. have everything here from her iPod dock to her coffee station for the morning, the little fan. I like the use of colorful storage. It's making what would be clutter look pretty. Exactly. So instead of just being a dresser, it's a dresser, a vanity area to get ready, and then it also serves as a bedside table. Exactly. This is where I'm going to mark where these strips are going to go, these command strips. Like, leave us a little bit down. Okay, there. And at the end of the year, when you move out of the dorm room, you just pull these off the wall, it comes off like Velcro would, and then we're going to do, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to release it, but you're going to just take this strip, okay. you pull it all the way down, and it magically pops off the wall. It's incredible. It's That's so great. much fun to do. So it doesn't leave any marks on the wall. Either. Nothing. And there's no mistaking which side of the room is Kate's. We suddenly have a lot more space under the bed. We do. What we did was we put this bed on these little bed razors that cost about $5, and it instantly gives you a whole extra um, half a foot of space. And for those things that you don't want to get dirty on the floor, we have these um, plastic under the bed storage boxes that slide right out. You can put everything in them, you can stack them. And then finally, before we go ahead and put the bedding on, um, I think it's a great idea to get these mattress toppers. Um, they add um, a huge layer of comfort. And now we're just gonna finish up with the bedding. But actually, there's also um, these great sets that you can buy for under $100, and it's like a bed in a bag. So it has everything you need for your bed. What does this room say to anyone who comes in? You know, our whole intention here was to come into a room that was a blank slate and really um, give it a personal sense of style. I think the more color and pattern and fun you can have with it, the biggest part of it is that we 
did it all without spending a ton of time. I mean, it didn't take that long to put mm -mm. this room together. Well, this room is a lot of fun. I'm glad and you like it. Yeah, I'm sorry that I can't live here. <laughs> I know, me too. Now that's comfortable. 